Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be talking about what are some of the webcomic readers' pet peeves. These are just some opinions that I found on a webtoon creator group in Facebook and these people are creators and also readers themselves. So yeah, let's get into it. First off, uh, the one I saw the most, the most reoccurring pet peeve that everyone talks about is poor grammar. Now, I understand that poor grammar is a lot of people's pet peeve because it's like one word can literally ruin a whole dialogue. But also, I think we just have to be mindful and realize that some authors slash artists don't have English as their first language. And this can be hard for them as well if they're just like in high school and they're just trying to start making comics for fun. They probably don't have the finance to hire a translator, you know. So if we know English isn't this comic creator's first language, I think they should be given more a leeway. And if you think you can help them translate their comic even better. And if there is like a huge problem with one of their dialogues, you can just like comment like very nicely and tell them hey this word doesn't work in this situation and most most likely if you point out their mistakes they're going to change it the second pet peeve that everyone hates is generic plot now this is a very common pet peeve i think for a lot of people especially in the romance trope i guess you see a lot of comics being churned out every month, um, mostly the ones that are featured on Webtoon and Tapas. There was one time I literally went on Tapas homepage and then I saw two comics that have very very similar thumbnails, similar poses and similar thumbnails. Was it an accident or was it on purpose? I cannot tell but I'm sure their story is different but the thumbnail kind of ticked me off a little, I'm not gonna lie. But then again, romance is such like a saturated genre. I guess as long as they don't completely copy the homework of an already existing comic, you know, it's fine. Next, when actions get described with text in addition to the image of the action. For example, a door opens and there's a tiny text that says open or pull or push. This is actually one of my biggest pet peeves too. I guess a lot of artists don't have really good VFX, SFX knowledge and they just write whatever like movements the character is doing just to try to give like some kind of background noise in the story. But my tip to this is to not use word, use noises as SFX and VFX. If you are unsure what kind of noise a certain object makes, you can go Google it. I'm sure there's like a lot of people who have done SFX, VFX of certain objects. Next, the trivialization of a character trauma, like having something terrible happen to your MC but never showing them dealing with the aftermath of emotions and anxiety. Plus, joke moments in the middle of a serious scene, breaking the seriousness and devaluing the scene. Now, this is one of my biggest pet peeves as well. You can't just draw a whole backstory of trauma and not let the characters deal with the sufferings uh, correctly. But again, this is due to lack of experience in storytelling as well. I know some people is like they're in, still in high school. They're trying to <laughs> figure out their own high school bullshit. And you're creating a comic that's like they're like adults and 30 year old going through some kind of alcoholic trauma and whatnot that you as a high schooler is not even as of age to be able to understand yet. So I guess a way to avoid this is you can either read more about how people do with trauma in general or just try to draw stuff that is around your age, you know? Like if you're a high schooler, just draw high school stuff. Like maybe you can give like a whole perspective of what you're facing as a high schooler and it would, I guess the 
deal the sufferings and the traumas that your character is going to go through is going to come off is going to come off as more genuine as well you know now with the jokes and devaluing the serious moments this is true as well if you have a character that is mostly the the comic relief you gotta tie him down when it's like the serious moments like i know you want to relieve the scene a bit if it gets too intense but some scenes are better off just staying intense especially if it's a character we care about you know next everyone always makes more or less the same face basically the lack of expression and some people seem to do this in favor of having the characters look pretty all the time this is actually a really valid pet peeve Lack of expression is a challenge I see a lot of artists face mainly when they're just starting out and you know you just finally learn how to draw a face or a human body or this can also be some top tier artists you know they want to keep a certain aesthetic to your art but either way you can improve this by teaching yourself how to by practicing on drawing facial expressions you can google this on pinterest and you can just find other people's facial expression and draw it side by side and try to and try to decipher and figure out how they do expressions so well next way too many cliffhangers i love lore lore olympus but it's been feeling like the longest cliffhanger so much to the point i'm starting to lose interest this is unavoidable for many comics, but I understand the frustration, especially with like featured comics. Usually they do a lot of cliffhangers and stuff to make sure to have you guys kind of get the fast pass on their comics, you know? It's kind of the way they make money and I'm totally not against it. Having a grip by the end of the comic is what helps many readers stay engaged. I do that for my comic as well, but I know that doing it too much can be annoying. Usually I think it's best if you try to end a certain conflict the characters are going through by 2-3 to three episodes. Next, starting with a prologue page which is a wall of text describing the creation of the world, places, important historical figures. That's not how, that's not how you should do world building. If that stuff is important to the story, it'll come out later. Plus, instant info dumping about the backstory of a character. Even if I might be interested, it makes it a struggle to engage with the story right off the bat. Now this are very very valid pet peeves. This is what's actually one of my biggest pet peeves as well. So when you're trying to make a story with intense world building and cultural and stuff like that, things uh, should be explained gradually throughout the story it's like instant info dumping at the prologue it's such a turn off for so many people usually what i would like to see in a really huge world building story is in the prologue it's like very vague environment background stories mysterious characters mysterious protagonists even and you know their story gets later introduced by the gradual throughout the rest of the comic basically throughout the rest of the episodes leading up to the ending and if you really want to keep your people engaged in the prologue having some sort of worldly conflict to your world building is also very important too and yeah that's about it for this video i hope this video helped you by the way, comment down below if you have any pet peeves of your own that you really hate. You know, maybe I'll include it in my part 2 video of pet peeves. Maybe you get featured, so yeah, let me know. Uh, if you guys enjoyed the video, feel free to like, subscribe. If you like what I do, feel free to support me on Patreon. I usually post work in progress, illustration downloads, and I also do behind the scenes and shoutouts or you can also support me on coffee. Feel free to check out my comics, links in the description. And till then, I shall see you in the next video. If you draw comics 
or you draw webtoon in general, you're gonna hit a few points here because, well, I myself have also already hit a few pet peeves of some people, but it's totally normal. Like, hopefully you can improve in your story in the future, and just don't really like take it too hard. 